On the Derbyshire Staffordshire borders, in peaceful, open countryside, sits a women's closed prison. Foston Hall houses shoplifters to murderers, but its grounds are the antithesis of what you might imagine a prison to be. So we've just arrived at the prison, and apart from the green, large fence surrounding the perimeter, you might be fooled into thinking it's a country home. There's chickens over there, there's a little nice manicured garden, a pond, a little outdoor gym, but no, it's a prison. Like many prisons, they have reform programmes. Some of the inmates and volunteers are building what will become pop-up shops. It's to give them skills to help them get employment when they're released. Do you want me to pick it up or can you manage it? Want me to? I'm worried about your back. It's Polly's first time in prison, but Lisa, here for drug offences, has been in and out most of her adult life. Well, she's been in, she's been, you've been in before, have you? Yeah. Each time has come back, unfortunately. That's promising me she's not coming back. How many, how many times have you been here before? This is my third time. I've been... Good qualifications, eh? Yeah. She's very capable, actually. This young lady could do a lot more work-wise. Lisa, in the past, what's made you come back? Housing. So what you've got to do is tap it down. Housing. They, they shut down a lot of the um, women's hostels, especially in Leicester area. It's really hard to get somewhere to stay. You don't have anywhere to live, so then you end up sleeping rough. You find somewhere safe to sleep every night is a constant battle. Then you don't sleep, so when your appointment's in the day, you're so tired that you're not making appointments, you're falling asleep in anywhere and everywhere. They said to me it'd be three months before they could even find me anywhere. So in them three months, I've, I've reused and um, I've been recalled back. It's not that I've re-offended, it's that I haven't made appointments. Because that's part of your probation is to go to... Part of your licence when you come out of jail, it's part of your licence to see probation. Just... Are people surprised when they come here? Yeah, especially when they see the donkeys <laughs> and leads and the goats being walked around the prison with the women. You know. In prison, the women are told when and what to eat, when to sleep, where they can go, what to wear, but losing all autonomy can make getting it back a daunting I mean, prospect. Governor Andrea Black decided to do the project after seeing the anxiety of one prisoner who was about to leave after over 30 years inside. For this particular woman, before she came into custody, it was um, two pence in a call box at the end of her road. Um, there wasn't um, the new money that we see today. There wasn't contactless payments. She found it very difficult, so it was important that we did something to prepare people for release. The project is run by volunteers working alongside the women and funded by local businesses. Once it's built, prisoners will run stalls where other inmates can buy locally donated goods with credit earned inside the prison. We've got women being trained in retail, customer service, um, stock control, warehousing and distribution they will work in the shops and manage those shops. And that will be tremendous um, on their CVs and, and going forward and, and help prepare them for release. We spoke with somebody in the car park who said, uh, it's like a holiday park in here. Well, certainly it's not a holiday camp. Um, I can absolutely assure you, these individuals in prison have had their liberty taken away from them. That's the punishment of the courts. My job isn't to punish individuals. My job is to help turn people's lives around and hopefully, you know, they won't come back to prison and they won't re-offend. Helping them to move forward has got to be a good thing, not a bad. And the chickens, you know, why not? Polly's in prison for shoplifting. For her, though, the punishment has been a blessing in disguise. How bad had it got before you came in here? Um, I was, to be honest with you, I was, I'd got really bad, I was using heroin and to hear my son say as well that he was scared at night time because he was thinking that the phone was going to ring and say your mum's dead. I'm ashamed of myself for how I was but I can only, I've got to put that behind me now and just move on and think, you know, look, I've got me back again and this is what I've wanted this for such a long time and I just couldn't, didn't know what to do. Why should people care? Like. People will often see prisoners as people that have done something wrong. So. Yeah, we have. We're coming here, we're doing our time, we are being punished. It's not as easy as people think. We are being punished. And some of us just need that extra little bit of help to get back on an even keel. And are you hopeful that the skills that you've learned on this project will allow you to do that? Yeah, yeah. 
definitely. I'll have more job opportunities. It's just how many people are willing to take ex-cons on. But I think in the last year or so, there's been more opportunities, especially for women. So I'm hoping for a brighter sunshine. Every inmate involved is guaranteed a job interview on release, a chance, it's hoped, that they won't return to the life that led them here in the first place.